Hi there. So in this video, we are going to see normal distribution in R. So when we are doing normal distribution calculations, while plotting the graph, you'll find that 50% of value lie to the left of mean and 50% lie to the right of mean. So this graph gives you idea of how normal distribution of your data works. We are going to take a look at some of the functions that help us plot such normal distribution of our data. So let's start with one function named qNorm. This function takes probability value and gives a number whose cumulative value matches the probability value. So we'll take a look at that. First thing, open your R Studio, create one R script. Here, I want to set my directory first. I'm going to set my D drive as my base directory. Next thing, we are going to create a sequence named X. And we are going to create sequence of probability values in increment by 0.2. So from 0, 1, we are going to increment by point not two. okay so after we do that next thing to do is to find our y value or you can see y sequence which should be from our q norm function so it takes variables such as our x sequence and then mean which we want at two and standard deviation at 1 okay now we have our x and y values we need to plot this but for that we need to set value for our png function so we have to set the name as let's say qnorm dot png okay next thing we will plot this x and y value on it and then finally call dave.off function so this should plot our distribution so let's start by executing our program first line it sets a working directory then our value of x sequence then y then our file then our plot and finally we create the file okay so what we're going to do is we're going to open our folder and find that file so let me check qnorm let's see where it is so here it is so we have qnorm.png that draws our distribution here now the next function that i want to show you is rnorm for that let's start with a sequence before that we will see what rnorm function is so rnorm function is used to generate or generalize a random number whose distribution is normal so we will take some sample size as input and generate that many random numbers so that distribution remains normal with our norm function okay so let's start with value of our first sequence okay so let's create sample of 50 numbers as normally distributed so we have our y with our norm function that takes 50 then we want to set our png file with name our norm png then we have hist method that takes y and our also 0.4 normal distribution okay 
and finally div dot off okay so that should do and now let's execute this and see how it goes okay so we have our environment value for y then we have our histogram and we want to export this so let's open and check our norm so we have our norm file here and you get your histogram now the next function we want to see is denorm okay so this function gives height of probability distribution at each point for a given mean and standard deviation so we'll first start by creating a sequence let's name it x and then we will call for sequence method that takes our sequence from minus 10 to 10 increment by 0.1 okay now the next thing we will call for our y value which will be for denom function that we want to see and it takes x then our mean at 2.5 and then standard deviation at 0.5 okay now we are going to plot this so png then file then here i want to use denom dot png and then let's plot our x and y and then call for dev dot off okay so starting from first line set wd then our x value then y value and then png then plotting of x and y and then finally creating our file so let's check that so we have our denom data at bottom okay so as you can see this function gives you the height of probability distribution okay now the next function i want to discuss is p norm so let's take a look at next function p norm this function gives the probability of normally distributed random number to be less than that value of given number it is called cumulative distribution function so let's start by creating our sequence x and then call for sequence method from minus 10 to plus 10 increment by 0.2 okay next thing you want to have your y value calling p norm and here we pass x then set mean to 2.5 and sd to 2 okay now we also set png file to p norm dot png then plot calling for our x y and then finally creating the file with dev off now let's execute this one by one and now finally creating the file now if you check our p norm you get graphs such as this okay so here you find that probability of a normally distributed random number to be less than that the value of given number okay so our example exactly shows how this p norm works okay so this was a short video on how the different normal distribution function work